Hi, my name is Clint Oregon. I'm an international business major with a focus in finance and Chinese. I studied abroad in Beijing University of Technology. I really like the program in Beijing because, mainly because the, the cost. It was exceedingly cheap, which was really good for me. So I definitely want to go back and continue my Chinese studies and be able to actually, you know, speak more of Chinese. So like going back both with price and both with opportunities in the future, even say like teaching English there would be just fantastic for me. When it's a clear day, and you can actually like see there's mountains and it's it's like a surprise, honestly. The housing experience there was one of the coolest parts actually because although it was an international dorm where they kind of separate you from from Chinese students. The cool part was that there was students from all over the world. For sure. And then all the surrounding restaurants, there's a Korean place, there's a, a Muslim type place that's from some special region in China, and oh my god. Now the, the school, they also paid for excursions to the Great Wall, to an acrobatics theater, to a, a tea theater, to there's like three other places, like the, the bird's nest, they paid for one for that as well, and then to somewhere else. But the really cool thing about it is that you didn't pay for any of those. They always had a bus waiting for you in the morning. Then for like the, the Great Wall, for example, they took you to the farthest and most beautiful one, since there's three different locations, at least three different locations in Beijing that you can go to. If you go out to a restaurant, one of the surrounding restaurants, there was... Like, you'd always see someone from the dorm there, too. So everyone, like, everyone would just kind of, like, chip in and be a mass meal with just tons of people there. And it was just fantastic. In the Simitai Great Wall, you can see for maybe, like, I don't know, it seems like 100 miles or something like that. <laughs> and then also you could see the, the Great Wall trail off in the distance. Like, my crew, I normally hung out with two Koreans and a Japanese guy. and. We used just butchered Chinese since my Japanese is terrible and my Korean is non-existent. But it was just, it was just too cool, like the experience there. <laughs> now I I definitely do the program again because a because it was so cheap. I'm a, I'm a cheap guy. I'm well, economical would be the right word. <laughs> but uh, it's so inexpensive and so the experience is just so so lust. And I've gone on a few other programs as well. And Beijing University of, uh, University of Technology was just it was. It left me wanting more. So you get there, and I mean, they pay for it. all this for maybe 30 or 40, maybe like 60 exchange students to go to this. And like, wow, going back would be fantastic just so I could learn more. And the language programs they have there too, it's, it's intense. But it's one of the hardest I've ever studied, and it's one of the hardest classes I've ever taken, but it left me the most accomplished. So there's always like someone trying to sell you something. But the Chinese beer stuff, that's, that, that's where it's at. So I really recommend to you to go out there and try to go on it. Talk to Dr. Hammond in the, in the Confucius Institute, talk to the study abroad office, and get it done. I really recommend it.